Hi, Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're doing really, really well. Okay, Scorpio, for the awareness of the week, we have the Ace of Wands and we have the High Priestess Major Arcana. So the Ace of Wands is this encouragement or this little nudge from the universe and uh, considered a gift or a blessing or a thought running through your mind. And it is the idea that here's the club, here's the wand, go forth and create, go forth and follow your ambitions, your passions, the things that excite you in life. Take the time and make the effort to bring it into reality. And, uh, you know, you can create and manifest what you want. And here's what you need. Here's this wand. Get out there and do it. And so there's, there can be a sense of freedom when we follow our passions. We can find our life purpose. We can find uh, things that are going to reflect and show our true self. So get out there. Think about your ideas for the week. What is it that you want to do next? What path? Is it creating, manifesting a relationship? Is it... Uh, extending your skills at the office or in your profession? Is it the desire to travel and to gain more experiences, uh, learn about different cultures? You know, Ace of Wands is, it's your thing. And it's telling you that it's go out there and make it happen. So along with this drive to do that, we have the High Priestess. And the High Priestess is this feminine ideal really in many respects the counterpart to the magician which is this very conscious manifesting and, and creating the alchemy here's the high priestess who is learning within understanding self and using all of the self-knowledge there is to help direct her path your path and so this high priestess trusts her intuition. She relies on her intuition. She is paying attention to the messages for that the universe is sending and is tuned in to dreams, numbers, uh, the things that people say, the just the most random things that pop up. So one of the ways to access the high priestess is to take the time for yourself to meditate, to reflect, to sit in quiet reflection to journal and use this information that you know of yourself what lies beneath the surface the secrets within to help guide you and this is a week of not only of being active and taking steps but it's paying attention and listening carefully to your intuition to your hut your hunches you know your gut instinct Isn't that interesting with the magician? The, uh, the external champion of making things happen. And so this magician has this wand pointed to the universe, the conduit for ideas, for creation, for making the magic in your life. You have the, the hands to do it. You have the sense to do it. You have your way of making the right blend of using your talents it's recognizing your own skills your abilities your strengths and using them to build the life that you want and so coupled with this ace of wands and the self-knowledge of the high priestess this is fabulous i mean it's about really um having faith in yourself to do to do what you want in life to follow your passions. This red robe that he's wearing, it's about the passion in life that brings joy and delight and fulfillment. So with the magician, here's the Hierophant, another red robe, and two disciples here listening uh, at the Hierophant's feet. And the Hierophant represents or symbolizes I call it the group think 
It's the group think, it's the collective for certain groups, it's the institutions, the traditions, the conventions of society, religion, education, certain profession, professions, government, where we track along in a certain way. It's the group, you know, we, we rely on the experts who kind of oversee the group and then we kind of follow the direction. Work hard, go to school, do this, have two children, la la la. And sometimes, sometimes people don't fit in a certain group and they have to go their own way. So I would say that is just something to think about. Other times we find comfort, we find strength, and we allow our faith to flourish under the expertise of someone within the group. So maybe as part of uh, creating the alchemy within your life, you are meeting with experts, you're meeting with professors, maybe you're meeting with um, investors who can help you uh, develop your vision. So the Hierophant can can go toward graduation. I mean, all of these marriages and, and having children, all of the things that we do is part of society. Doesn't mean that you have to follow it exactly, but there's certainly here, there's an element here this week of whatever you're doing, you're either looking for assistance and maybe support from these conventional structures, or perhaps you're thinking of, of your own path that maybe is less reliant on the dogma of these, of these institutions. Quite a spread with these majors major arcana wheel of fortune and the star major arcana for possible outcomes wheel of fortune about things moving in your life you are in motion the wheel is turning life is spinning like the seasons are changing we get a sense here that maybe the pace is picking up for you maybe in terms of building and um, manifesting what you hope to do that the pace is picking up the thing to think about the, the Wheel of Fortune is that life, the Wheel of Life is always spinning. And sometimes we're on top of that wheel and we have good fortune. Everything is working out great. But in a moment's notice, that wheel could turn and change direction. And maybe it topples you or maybe you have to deal with the imbalance. So what, the, what we have to realize with the wheel is that how we react to the good fortune and then the not so good fortune. How do you respond? How are you uh, being flexible? Or how are you, again, how are you able to adapt? Are you going to let a uh, stroke of bad luck derail you? Or are you going to just dust off your boots, deal with it, and move on and keep moving forward? So, you know, the universe has its hand. It, it, it's guiding the way, but you also have, you have your own will and you can't surrender your power. You can't surrender to fate. You also play a part. So just keep that in mind that events may be happening quickly and there may be decisions that need to be made. You may need expert advice perhaps on some of these decisions, whatever However the wheel lands for you, whether it's good fortune or where maybe, maybe it's a small setback or something, it's how you react, how you deal with it. And then we have the star. And this star is a beautiful card. We see the woman here. She has no clothes on. She's under the stars, the big star and the other stars, and they're gleaming. And she's pouring water into the pond and onto land. And so there's a sense here of of this, it's a gentle card. You know, it's a card of gentleness. It's a card of, of, ser of feeling serene. And we often see the star after a challenging time within our life. And it's really the message of believe that the universe is looking out for you. Believe in the path. Have hope. Be optimistic. Uh, be positive about the outcome, whatever it may be. That if to have faith in the 
universe, in angels and spirits, and in yourself. Here's this sense between the physical sense and the spiritual sense of tying it together. There's also the openness without clothes of being open and ready to receive level of comfort too, of being comfortable in your own skin. So, you know, very, very uh, big ideas for you for this week, manifesting, creating, and using all of these strong aspects here, the Hierophant, the High Priestess, understanding how the Wheel of Fortune and the Wheel of Life is, and telling you not to lose faith in your hopes and your dreams and what you, how you think your story is going to be. So let's choose an Oracle card for uh, an affirmation for the week. Magic Manifesting, Isis. Your dreams, visions, and goals are becoming reality. Stay focused. So uh, it's totally in sync. It's pretty amazing, uh, honestly. Let's choose a card for love. New love. Embrace this new opportunity of love that is here. This may pertain to work opportunities or spiritual growth. So whether you have new love for the life that you're manifesting, a new love that is a person, a new love that is, again, a new love of self and of all the magic that you're able to create, simply a beautiful spread. I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe.